to be clear, I subscribed to her OnlyFans account. It's my first time subscribing <laughs> to an OnlyFans account. And listen, you guys called him a simp, so I wanted to get into the mind of a simp. And I got, a, I got an OnlyFans. In order to catch a simp, you got to be a simp. Uh, Isn't that how it works? Yeah. yeah. Catch a predator, you got to be a predator. That's right. Ask Chris Hansen. I'm sure he's got oh, some God. kids in his closet. So, we'll talk about that later. Listen, right. what is a simp, Preach? What is a simp? A simp... It's the opposite of a pimp. Drop the S, put a P. A pimp is a manager, and a simp is a customer who never gets the goods. <laughs> you paid, but you didn't receive your product. But you keep paying. You show your hope that you're going to receive some product eventually. Exactly. Basically, it's a guy who rolls out the mat for women, hoping to get some and never does. Now, looking into this IW situation, if you aren't familiar, he's a big creator on this platform. Makes a lot of content commentary series called Content Cop that made him very popular back in the day. Internet is ablaze. People won't stop telling us, cover this, cover this. Apparently, IDubs' girlfriend, who's a streamer, has made an OnlyFans account. And everybody has gone crazy. They've been sending me memes, sending me messages. Here's the thing, man. Honestly, when I saw this, I'm like, how is this a thing? I will attest to the fact that I think for a lot of people, it's not a thing. People are just posting memes and they're having a laugh and I think that's fine. You should be able to crack jokes about that. Let's all laugh. But then there's people who are really like mad. Like I saw some comments and I was like, whoa, yeah. you, you guys are like legitimately devastated or some people are yeah. like really angry at him. And, and my thing is like, <laughs> why do you care? Why are people so invested in the lives of people who are in the media. I don't care about what people do in their personal lives unless it's somehow hypocritical in regards to what they espouse yes. in the media. You know, if you were like, oh, I'm an advocate <clears throat> for women's rights and then behind closed doors, you own females or whatever, that might be a problem and it's worth bringing to light, right? Because you don't practice what you preach. Do I want a girl who has an OnlyFans account? No, but guess what? is not my relationship, so I don't care. Do I want a girl who's going to give me a golden shower? No, but guess what? Other people do, and I don't care because it's not my relationship. I don't understand what the problem is with somebody being fine with the fact that their girl has an OnlyFans. He seems very supportive. Good for them. You know, some people are like, I don't feel like he's okay with it. You don't know what he feels. Your intuition could be very well off. He could be actually fine with it. And if he is, what's the problem? Why do people care that much? My suspicion is that people really love this man and they really dislike her because she's shown evidence of being a bad person. I don't know if this is accurate. But what is being said? Well, there's some footage of her saying some stuff on stream that I'm like, meh, here's my thing. It's kind of like when you have a friend who's dating someone you really dislike and you know is a bad person. If you go to your friend and be like, yo, she's bad. She's a bad person. Dump her, dump her. What does your friend do? Stays with her. <laughs> right? She's and you start good. to get frustrated and you get mad because you like leave her. And what ends up happening? He grows more distant from you and more into that person. What you have to understand is if she is as bad as you guys believe her to be, it's going to be on him to discover that for himself. Advise him once. Once it's known, it's known. I mean, there's nothing much you can say. I've got some people that are not in the best relationship. I say it once, and then I move the... But you're I've a friend. Learned. Yeah, but I've learned in life that this shit does not work. But you're a friend. They're fans. You know the word fan? People, when they're your fan, and I'm a bit scared of that, to be honest with you. Oh, they feel That's entitled. Too. Yes, that exactly. A fan of yours. And I am talking even to some of you, because sometimes I see some of the comments, I'm still not used to it, mm. and sometimes it really irritates me. Mm. Yo, when someone goes like, yo, preach, you shitting, who are you? I don't even know you. I don't know you, nor did I ask for any advice, and then you come here and you impose yourself on, who are you? you you're willing to take it or not, I don't go to you, you tuned in. There's a difference, I'm speaking in a camera. And I put it out there. I don't exactly know who I'm speaking with. I'm just speaking to a camera. You can always tune that shit off. It's not the same thing that if I walk in the street and you come up to me, you're imposing yourself on me and I have to listen to you. And I'm like, yo, you have to do this and that and that. We give advices, but you don't have to take none of them. And I don't know who you are. I think this whole like simping craze that I keep hearing about, I think iDubs is like girlfriend's announcement. And then this simping business. It's all come happening at the same time. It's like the perfect intersection between what I believe is like 
anti-pro women movements, meaning like a lot of men are really just annoyed to a certain degree with like female entitlement, with pro-female groups, with you know, alimony, women not wanting to date down. I've definitely seen a proliferation online of men just being really upset or and sometimes justifiably so. And, and so I see all this stuff, right? And even on YouTube, there's a huge proliferation of that kind of content. I know because I've helped create so much of it and I benefited from it because I see some of the comment sections and I'm like, whoa, okay, y'all going really far. People generally saw him as a guy who won't take from anybody. Seeing him have a woman who would dare to show other men her private parts, which then lowers him. Like, how dare he be accepting of that kind of thing? They saw someone that they thought would never want to be okay with that, be okay with that. And some of them felt like it was a personal loss for themselves. The same way they felt like women are winning all the time. Here's another woman who's not deserving, who's winning again. Does that make sense? I understand. I get it. Yes, it does make sense. There's that. There's a lot of things. There's what you just mentioned, the intersection of that. But I would add a, a third point is uh, the trends. The trends of the words. When one word come out, it becomes a trend. It becomes super trendy. And a lot of people use it and sometimes overuse it. And they don't even know the definition. They don't know the definition. They're right. just going to fling it out. Yeah. I remember when Boy came out. Certain people who's using boy, people didn't know what boy meant. Then it became mainstream, mm. and everything is a boy. Yo, why are you wearing that shirt? You're such a boy. Yo, why are you driving like that? You're driving like a boy. I had a girl. I had a girl tell me I made her a you know a salmon dinner one time. Salmon dinner, right? Maybe really fancy. She enjoyed it. We had two more dates, and I said I'm not interested. And she's like, "But you made me salmon dinner. Why would you do that if you're not interested in something more serious?" And I was like, "What?" She's like, "You're a." Boy. And I was like, that's not what the definition of boy is. Because I made you a salmon, salmon dinner. This, I didn't make you a salmon dinner. I was hungry. You was there. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Is it, but people use it like that. Right. Oh, yo, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Yo, this is lit. This is lit. Oh, this is lit. And everybody used that. Right. And now I think one of the words of the moment is simp. Yeah. Everything is a simp. When you don't agree with someone, you a simp. Simp was one of them. There's a bunch of words like that that are. are there's that trending. If it was like, uh, for example, mm, a year ago that that would happen, he wouldn't be called a simp. I don't think he would. No, not as bad. He would have been called a cook. Here's another thing. People are mad because his girl made OnlyFans. How dare you? That's an insult or this and that. I'm like, I just don't understand how people can consume so much of this prawn. And then get mad when Stop someone prawn. is dating somebody who makes prawn. I mean, you help create the market. No, these people need to stay alone. Somebody's daughter, somebody's sister, somebody's girlfriend has to make the prawn. What's the point? You can't consume the matter and then be mad when, like, if people are okay with it. You contribute to the normalization of point. said thing. I don't know why there's such a stigma with this well, kind of stuff. Are we trying to say that making prawn is bad? Yeah, it shows a problem. It shows a problem right now to how, like, the way that ex-workers are being seen. Whether it's cams, whether it's rippers, all of that. It shows the hypocrisy of the respect that they have for that. They will consume, but they will shit on it when they need to shit on it. I really don't get that. I would hope that if somebody's engaging in that kind of stuff, that the people around them are supportive. You know, like me, I don't want my family members or my daughter to do that. But if they were to do it of their own volition, I don't want to alienate them or shame them for it. I would say, I'm not cool with it, but I still support you. He's cool with it. That's like one of the best case scenarios. So I understand why y'all mad. Like, maybe I'm missing it. I said it before in a previous video. I don't think that kind of work is honorable. That being said, I don't go poo-pooing it, and I surely don't shame people who do it. If he's okay with it... Then why are you mad? I know people who hate that, and then they'll go use the services of a night walker. Yeah, of course. And of, I'm just like, course. you're creating a demand. You have urges. Someone helps you with your cravings. It's not like... This is a bad thing. Some people have heard they compared it to crack. It's not like crack, okay? This is a healthy urge that we have. To get off is a good thing. I'm telling you right now, there's so many times that I've come to prawn, and I'm glad I did because I would have probably made a worse decision if I hadn't. And I'm not even saying that, we're not saying that they cannot get to a point where it's addictive. That's not the point. But at its core, you need to release some tension. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>
It's normal. Sometimes you just want to skip the day and get straight to the business. For the number of people, for the number of people that go to Vegas, you're just going to go to the casino and play games. Bruv, I went to Amsterdam. I've used the red night, the, the, the red light district. The red light. It was great. I guess, yeah. Because it was it's, great. It's, it's straightforward. Legal. 50 euros on the table. Protection. Because it's Go it's, at it. It's legal. Simple. It's legal. It's safe. There's no dates. It's no three-hour affair. Pay 15 minutes. Sometimes, you know, you... I paid for 15. I was done in 10. Amen. Nobody was mad. Because I only paid for two positions. <laughs> you have to you negotiate? Have to be... Yeah, yeah. Ne you we need to talk about that. You didn't know? We need to make a video about you that. You have to negotiate? No, that is another video, no, my nigga. No, no. I've already said too much. <laughs> but anyways, all this to say... <laughs> All this is Once you guys are gone, we talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, switch position. She's like, more money. <laughs> I was like, no funny. And I said, nah. So, I paid for her OnlyFans. Never had an OnlyFans before. I said, yo, let me check this out. And? It's interesting. I went on her OnlyFans to see all these lewds that everyone was talking about. Mm-hmm. I went there ready for rated R. It was rated PG-13. Really? Yes. It's not that bad. Let me put it this way. Her Instagram, which is public to everyone, is rated PG-13. Her, her OnlyFans was pretty much rated teen. There was no loots at all. I was hoping it was going to be rated T for Tatas. Like, I was ready to see everything. Ready for Tatas? Bruh. Not even rated for Tatas? No, not even. Like, Scott, you know the Scotch tape? Yeah. Here, look. This is what it is. Hold on. Right now we're in confinement, right? Confinement. Prawn Hub. Yo, their premium account is free for everyone right now. Really? Yeah. Usually you know how much it is? Hmm. $9.99. You mean to tell me that in these trial times, I'm going to pay $9.99 for just Instagram stuff. Bro, I've seen Instagram accounts with way more skin than this. I've seen Twitter accounts. <laughs> so it's pretty disappointing. I mean, go on and do your thing, boo-boo. Ain't nobody mad at you. But. Oh, you want to see what I, inst I sent her as a message? <laughs> I mean, if you're going to simp, go all the way. <laughs> <laughs> you simp. Please respond. Please respond. <laughs> Anyways, to invest it. To invest. To invest to quit. Yeah, yeah. To invest. To invest to quit. Yeah, yeah. To invest. The people that are buying the OnlyFans are the simps. Can you not include me in that? Uh, I'll do whatever the I want. I didn't even include you in that. You included yourself in that. You All have. people wearing blue jackets are simps. Yeah, well, you talking to me. Yeah, well, you know, so amend your definition. You did, you did say in order to catch a simp, you have to be a simp. Therefore, you're a simp for a month. For research purposes. Still a simp. It's for research purposes. Yeah. Is a cop who's undercover really? Yeah. At that time, he is. And if he engages in. Is an actor who's acting really what he acts like? It's not an actor. It's called method acting. Bro, you're not method acting. I'm method acting. You're being a simp right now, which listen, is fine. Listen, listen. Take out the purposes. S and put on it's the P. It's not a bad thing. Put your ass on your set on your chest. <laughs> Superman. Super pimp. Super simp. Okay, so it is what it is. It's not even all the people that are on the only fan account that are a simp. I'm not even gonna go as far as that. Alright? Some people wanna see just more, and that's what they have. They pay for what they get. You know what I mean? They are not all simps. There are probably some of them that are, but some just want to see that person and have a little bit more pictures, and that's it. Hmm. That's it. Just paying for goods. That's just it. You know what I mean? Does that make you a simp though? No? What about going to the rippers? Yeah, no, that don't make you a simp. I don't think so either. No. Yeah. I don't think that makes you a simp. It's not because you buy into the only fan account that you're a simp. There are some people that go to the rippers that are simps. There yeah. are some people that buy into the only fan account that are, but it's not all put them in a the pot. Okay? There's a camera there and that's it. I'm also here. Whatever. First you call me a simp, and then you just gonna act like I don't exist? Bro, whatever. Anyways, yes, we speak into cameras. You're right. You're there. I'm more than just here. Acknowledge my presence, and then 
encourage my presence. You know what? Nigga, no. Listen, if you don't start treating me better, I'm going to have self-esteem issues, and then I'm going to start an OnlyFans account, and then we going to have real problems. Then you start an OnlyFans account. I'm pretty sure there are plenty of ladies that want to see that shit. You're going to make math though, bro. Yeah. Every time you drop some shit, like, yeah, so I date more than my brother now, you know what I mean? Because, oh, my f was like, ooh, you got a brother? Yeah. My one no. So if you want to start a little only fan account, boo boo honey chicken, cherry chow, honey bun and bunch with a slice of lime and a cherry on top, by all means, go make your money, boo boo. Mm. Ain't nobody mad about that. That's right. We're gonna have real problems. How ladies want that? Yes, they do. And if I make one, I'm gonna dub myself a pimp. <laughs> I dubs myself a pimp. Carry on. I gotta recoup myself.